World Habitat Day from Burke Castle. Um, we have talked to you about wild connections um, and particularly in and around Burke Castle Domain where there's a great variety of habitats, biodiversity um, and a long history of recording and monitoring wildlife, birds, plants, uh, mammals, all around the domain here in County Offaly. As you can probably tell, I'm not originally from the Midlands of Ireland. I'm a, what they call locally a blow-in. Um, but I have been in Ireland for 20 years. Um, I've been fortunate enough to settle down and family in around Burr, um, which is now essentially my hometown. And it's a fantastic town uh, to live in, um, to have kids. There's some great parks, not just the, the domain itself, Burr Castle Domain. There's some wonderful parks around the town. Um, there's some wonderful landscapes and wildlife in County Offaly, from the Schlee Bloom Mountains to the Shannon Callows to the bogs in between. Um, and it's a fantastic place to enjoy as, a, as an ecologist, and I've been an ecologist now for uh, 25 years professionally, and I have a couple of degrees as well to go along with my, uh, my um, work experience. Um, so it's a fantastic county to, to be, have an interest in wildlife and nature. And it's great to have places like Burr Castle where we can see it really close, where it's brought up. Uh, and we're encouraged to go out and view it and walk around with lots of information about the wildlife here in the domain. So Burr Castle domain is a fantastic place, there's lots and lots of different kind of habitats here, lots of wildlife. Um, the first thing you'd see when you come into the domain is there's lots of woodlands, some really grand, large trees. Uh, and they're really important for a huge range of species, uh, birds, mammals, uh, lots of insects that we use a huge variety of trees here, uh, particularly talking to you in October, and uh, it's full of berries, full of nuts, it's a really good year for beech mast and that's really important for lots of seed eating birds, lots of small mammals, mice and voles, they're going to come in and eat that beech mast. Um, apart from the trees, there's the lake, which is good habitat for uh, swans and ducks, which people come in and see regularly and feed, people are very familiar with them. Um, it's also really good for lots, again, for lots of insects. We had a dragonfly flying around us today when we were walking around the site, which is fantastic to see. Uh, next to the lake we have the River Cancor, um, which rises in the Shree Blue Mountains. Uh, it joins the River Little Brosna within the domain and then heads off down to the River Shannon. Um, the stretch of the rivers in Burr Castle um, are really good for uh, grey heron. We see them perched along the river quite regularly. Um, it's also really good for dipper and they nest on a couple of bridge sites within the domain itself and kingfisher. It's a great place to see kingfisher, particularly in the summer. And again, uh, they're nesting in and around the domain on the, the banks of the rivers here. We also have some really nice grasslands uh, stretching uh, across an awful lot of the, the, the area here. Um, and the grasslands are left unmown, so there's lots of flowers growing up through the grasses and that's really important for pollinators. Um, bees and butterflies and in the evenings moths will probably come into an awful lot of the flowers. Um, and again, uh, the great biodiversity or value there is what we can't see, all the small invertebrates that are in and around the soil surface, uh, the little beetles and bugs that we can't see so easily, uh, but nevertheless are really important to the functioning of these ecosystems. One of the great things at Burr Castle is the way that they've encouraged people to come and learn and experience wildlife firsthand. And that can be common uh, birds that we see in our own gardens. Like some, everyone will be familiar with robins, wrens, blue tits, blackbirds. If you feed the birds in your garden, they're going to come in regularly. And you can see them up very, very close. Um, they have feeders here in the domain, so you can see them really close as well. And you get to enjoy and appreciate just how beautiful even common birds like robins and wrens are up close. Uh, you get to appreciate the really interesting interaction and behaviour of the feisty blue tits or the more relaxed and sociable goldfinches. It's fantastic to see. And of course here you've always got the chance to see that bird that's maybe a little bit more unusual that you wouldn't see in your garden. Maybe a kingfisher flying up and down the river Cancor. Possibly a dipper under one of the bridges and some of the faster flowing sections of the river here. Uh, perhaps the best thing, uh, the most exciting thing is the heronry which is in the middle of the lake which we might look at a little bit later. Um, but it's great just to see that information, to, to be able to go out and experience this wildlife uh, uh, first hand. So one of the really exciting things I suppose, or interesting things about Burr Castle and the wildlife here is the history. Behind us we have fairly normal looking trees on an island in the middle of the lake. Um, this is where the herons nest every year. Come here in April, early May and you'll see herons and heron chicks sitting there really quite close. 
um, and they tolerate people sort of walking along the path and having a good look at them. One of the real features in Bar Castle is the collection of trees here. There's some incredibly old specimen trees collected from all over the world. Um, and then there's lots of native local trees as well, of course. Um, and trees can be incredibly important for wildlife, particularly the older they get, the more mature they get, the bits of dead wood that start to materialise. It can be really important for lots and lots of wildlife. The oak tree here, the meridian oak, the oldest tree in the domain, 500 years and counting more or less, lots of insects, lots of invertebrates, and lots of larger things. Jays, for example, feed on the acorns, they bury them uh, during the winter to, to store them for, for when there's less food around. Squirrels, the same, will come in and store acorns. So trees can be really important habitats in their own right. And of course, in and around the domain here, there's huge numbers of trees and lots of really nice woodland. And those woodlands, incredibly important for a huge range of wildlife as well. Uh, the shelter they provide, the food that they provide, throughout the year, chances for them to nest, uh, for birds to nest, uh, so really important, wonderful habitat to come in and experience and walk around. Uh, and difficult to find this range of trees and the variety in anywhere anywhere else really in Ireland. So the habitats here in Burr Castle, and many habitats are very important for a range of wildlife, uh, particularly our more sensitive and specialised species using the lake or using the rivers. I think it's really important for people to understand that um, we have habitats everywhere. Um, your house, your garden can be really important for lots of different kinds of wildlife that can adapt to use it. Um, we'd all be familiar with insects, moths coming to lights in the evening and around the garden, um, probably spiders, maybe even one or two will have a mouse in the house somewhere. So wildlife can be very, very adaptable. It can take over or, or certainly use an awful lot of artificial habitats. And some of those artificial habitats are becoming increasingly important. Old, old, stone, old stone buildings, very, very important for bats and for some birds such as swifts, which nest here in the castle walls. Um, other artificial habitats are becoming increasingly important for wildlife are our gardens. The wider countryside is becoming increasingly uh, challenging for, finding, for nature to find space. So our gardens are becoming more and more important as that little oasis, a little haven for wildlife. Even if it's something as small as a flower border, or an area of uncut lawn where the, uh, the flowers are able to grow and produce nectar and form seeds, which can be used by an awful lot of different species. Um, but we can go a little bit further, putting in ponds, creating wildflower meadows um, to really enhance wildlife. Feeding birds in the garden over winter or putting up nest boxes during the summer can all be of massive benefit to a huge range of wildlife. And it's easy things for us to do in homes and in our communities, in our local school, um, our local halls can be really um, help wildlife there by doing these very small bits and pieces. And wildlife is very important for our mental health. Can you imagine a spring with no birdsong? Can you imagine a summer where we have no flowers or no butterflies? Biodiversity, wildlife is part of our quality of life. Um, and it's important that we protect and preserve what we have for ourselves, for our own mental well-being, but also for our children. And wildlife is under incredible pressure in Ireland and across the world. We hear about the decline of biodiversity. Uh, recent reports have shown that over half the birds in the world uh, are declining, um, that are of conservation concern. So we do all need to take action, um, as well as a climate emergency. We have a biodiversity emergency and we all need to address and do our little thing to help uh, the wildlife that we have around us. interesting thing I learned today was that robins sit on top of their holly to protect um, their berries. I like seeing all the nature so out in my blooming because it's really interesting to learn about them. I learned that peatlands can also be considered as uh, wetlands even though you can't see the water. You have to leave bats alone in their natural habitats because um, they're endangered. Probably the most interesting thing I learned was learning about Probably the most interesting thing I learned was about all the different types of berries and how some can be poisonous. Like there can be, like, it's just grass. Can, there's like different stuff in the grass. I think the interesting, the most interesting thing I learned today was that even the most modern buildings uh, can still hold like habitats. Woodlands have the most species out of all like the habitats. I learned that most berries on trees and bushes are. 
the birds and nature. Hi, the 